Yes. Now we'd like to discuss about uh, what is the uh, gram equivalent weight. Gram equivalent weight. So gram equivalent weight. Here the gram equivalent weight is nothing but number of parts of the substance that combines with one gram of the hydrogen or eight grams of the oxygen or 35.5 grams of the chlorine or simply the number of parts of the substance that combines with one part of the hydrogen or eight parts of the oxygen or 35.5 parts of the chlorine is generally called as the gram equivalent weight. So in general, in order to understand this particular concept here, so suppose if I take an element, for an element, what is the gram equivalent weight? Nothing but atomic weight of the element divided by its valency. Valency. So here, for an element, think about its atomic weight divided by valency. Suppose you take sodium, equivalent weight of sodium is nothing but atomic weight is 23, its valency is 1, so it is 23. Suppose take, uh, for example, magnesium, equivalent weight of magnesium, its atomic weight is 24, its valency is 2, nothing but 12. You take aluminium, aluminium, atomic weight is 27 and uh, its valency is 3, so it is equal to 9. Therefore, for any element, how to get the equivalent weight? Nothing but atomic weight of the element by its valency will give the equivalent weight of the element. So, sodium is 23, equivalent weight, magnesium is 12 because atomic weight is 24, valence of magnesium is 2, aluminum equivalent weight is 9 because 27 is atomic weight, 3 is the valency. So, for any element, we can get the equivalent weight as its atomic weight by the valency of the element. Okay, and apart from this, suppose the acid is given. In the case of acids, how to calculate the equivalent weight or gram equivalent weight? So for the given acid, the equivalent weight of acid is nothing but its uh, molecular weight or gram molecular weight divided by basicity basicity so here basicity means the number of active hydrogens in the acid or the number of replaceable hydrogens number of replaceable hydrogens or active hydrogens present in the acid is called as the basicity of the acid basicity of the acid for example if you take uh, hcl hydrochloric acid so in this case it is having only one replaceable hydrogen so basicity is equal to one if you take sulfuric acid h2so4 it is having two replaceable hydrogens so, basicity is 2. If you take H3PO4, orthophosphoric acid, if it is a strong acid, so that means it can, we can replace all the three hydrogens. So, basicity is 3. So, every case for HCl, so molecular weight is 36.5 divided by 1 is the equivalent weight of HCl. If you take H2SO4, 98 divided by 2, this is 36.5 divided by 1, this is 98 by 2, this is also 98 but divided by 3. So every time here, we have to check how many replaceable hydrogens are there. 
that will give the basicity of the corresponding acid. So, in the case of the bases, for bases, so we can write generally the bases as MOH taken in this N is the number of active or replaceable OH groups that will give acidity of the base acidity of the base that means in the case of the bases the equivalent weight is nothing but its molecular weight or gram molecular weight divided by the acidity suppose we take sodium hydroxide NaOH so it has one replaceable OH group so acidity is one you take calcium hydroxide CaOH twice so it is having the OH group as two so acidity is 2 here. You take aluminum hydroxide. It have replaceable 3 OH groups. So acidity is 3. So likewise here also in the case of the bases. How to get the equivalent weight is nothing but. It's gram molecular weight divided by the acidity. Here acidity means the number of replaceable OH groups. In the case of the bases. Base. How we can get the equivalent weight. Okay, and uh, coming to the salts. So, in the case of the salts, we can see here uh, we have the corresponding ions, cations and the anions. Suppose if I take here sodium chloride, NaCl. This NaCl is having the Na plus as the cation. And Cl minus as the anion. So in the case of the salts, the equivalent weight of the salt is given by its formula weight divided by the charge or total charge on ion. The total charge on the ion. For example, <coughs> equivalent weight of sodium chloride I want. Sodium is 23 atomic weight, chlorine is 35.5, total will have 58.5 divided by the charge on the sodium is Na plus and that of Cl is minus 1. So, you have to take either charge on the cation or charge on the anion, its magnitude we have to take. The magnitude value is 1. So here the total charge on the corresponding only one ion either cation or anion if you take the anion you should take the magnitude value. Suppose you take the calcium carbonate CaCO3 so CaCO3 is having calcium plus 2 carbonate minus 2 CO3 minus 2. So here the equivalent rate nothing but this formula weight is 100 divided by the charge on the corresponding each ion is 2 nothing but 50 that's why in the case of the calcium carbonate so we can see here the calcium is a cation ca2 plus carbonate co3 minus 2 so the magnitude of charge on present on each ion is it is 2 that's why the formula weight of this ca co3 is 100 and divided by 2 which will give the equivalent weight of the calcium carbonate as 50 five zero. so you take any salt so we can calculate the equivalent weight of the salt accordingly now let us see how to calculate the equivalent weight of the redox reagent so let us see how to calculate equivalent weight of the redox reagent redox reagent nothing but reducing agent as well as the oxidizing agent suppose take KMnO4 potassium permanganate so actually this potassium permanganate KMnO4 is a good oxidizing agent 
where manganese have the oxidation state of plus 7 in the compound. So this can act as oxidizing agent in acidic medium, neutral medium and also in basic medium. Whenever the KMN4 that is potassium permanganate acts as oxidizing agent in acidic medium this finally changes to Mn2 plus. If it is a neutral medium it finally changes to manganese dioxide MnO2 where the manganese present in plus 4 oxidation state. If it is basic medium this finally changes to the manganese in plus 6 in the form of uh, MnO4 minus 2. So in order to convert the manganese from plus 7 to plus 2 it has to accept 5 moles of electrons. 5 electrons. In order to change from plus 7 to plus 4 it has to accept 3 moles of electrons. 3 electrons. In order to convert plus 7 to plus 6 it has to accept one electron or one mole of the electrons that means in every case we can observe there is a reduction or a decrease in the oxidation state of the manganese from plus 7 to plus 2 in acidic medium and plus 7 to plus 4 in neutral medium of course we can also use this as a weakly alkaline medium weakly alkaline medium and also from plus 7 to plus 6 in the case of the basic or strong basic medium. So every case we can see there is a decrease in oxidation number that's why the manganese is reduced. So it acts as a oxidizing agent. So nature of oxidizing agent is always this will undergo reduction in the chemical reaction in the chemical reaction. Now, how we can calculate the equivalent weight of the KMnO4 now? For any redox reagent, the equivalent weight is nothing but its formula weight divided by the change in oxidation state. So generally, the oxidation state is changed either by the loss of the electrons or by gain of the electrons. So in this particular case, whenever K manufacturer present here, it is always what happened here? Electrons are gained. That's why oxidation state is decreased. So that's why here in this particular case, so what is the equivalent weight of the K manufacturer? It is nothing but its formula weight. You make it as M. Of course, it is 158. So M divided by change in oxidation state is 5 units here because it is gaining 5 electrons. So, M divided by 5. In this case, magnesium dioxide have formed here in this case. So, here the equivalent weight of the KMnO4 is nothing but M divided by number of electrons gained is 3. So, M by 3. So, in this case, here the equivalent weight of the KMnO4, here magnesium change for plus 7 to plus 6. So equivalent weight is nothing but its formula weight M divided by 1. So formula weight of KMM4 is 158. So 158 by 5, 158 by 3, 158 by 1. In the case of the KMM4, potassium permanganate. Okay. And coming to other example, here if you take potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate as one second as potassium dichromate that is K2Cr2O7. This also acts as oxidizing agent in acidic medium only, where chromium will change finally to plus three oxidation state. So chromium here present in plus six. Here we have two chromiums, no? So we have to make it as. 2Cr3 plus. So here 2 into plus 6. 
is 12 here 2 into plus 3 is 6 the difference is 12 minus 6 is the 6 units that means the chromium overall decrease in oxidation state is 6 units therefore as per the representation the equivalent weight of the K2Cr2O7 potassium dichromate is its formula weight divided by 6 Similarly, if we come across about uh, the oxalic acid, H2C2O4, dihydrate, oxalic acid, dihydrate is the, uh, of course, salt here. This here, the carbon have plus 3 oxidation state in the reactions this particular oxalate ion c2o4 minus 2 changes into carbon dioxide with the release of two moles of electrons from this here i'll told you here carbon is plus 3 here carbon is plus 4 so each carbon has changed from plus 3 to plus 4 one unit increase in oxidation state but here we have two carbons no the total increase in oxidation state is two units that's why two moles of electrons are released here so as per this representation see the oxidation state of the carbon is increased that's why this generally acts as a reducing agent a reducing agent always if you come across it will always undergo oxidation in the resultant chemical reaction therefore for this particular oxalic acid the equivalent weight is nothing but its formula weight make it as m divided by change in oxidation state is two units actually oxalic acid formula weight is 126 divided by two that is 63 is the equivalent weight of the oxalic acid okay and uh, coming to ferrous ammonium sulfate fas also called as morse salt morse salt so here is a mixture of faso4 ammonium sulfate what more salt okay so here we have the iron which is present in plus 2 oxidation state this finally changes to fe3 plus with the release of one mole of the electron so here oxidation state of iron changed is one unit here that's why in this case the equivalent weight of the more salt is nothing but its formula weight divided by one that's how we can calculate so here also iron have changed from plus two to plus three so we can say here this also acts as a reducing agent so in general in common the laboratory or in general even a stoichiometry also if you come across the commonly used the oxidizing agents are potassium permanganate potassium dichromate and the commonly used reducing agents are oxalic acid and more salt or ferrous ammonium sulfate this ferrous ammonium sulfate is a double salt because here we have ferrous sulfate is one salt and ammonium sulfate is one salt which is a hydrated salt it's having this number of moles of water of crystallization this is a double salt so these two are reducing agents and these two are oxidizing agents so every case how we can calculate the equivalent weight is nothing but for the redox reagent its formula weight divided by change in oxidation state of course we can also use the number of electrons gained or number of electrons lost per molecule so we can also use that instead of this this is how we can uh, uh, calculate the equivalent weight of the redox reagents so this is the concentration terms is over if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus